Hey guys, how we doing? It is a rainy Wednesday and a big weekend is coming up for those of us here in Central New York. Motorsports Expo, the 35th annual edition, will be coming up this weekend inside the Center of Progress building at the New York State Fairgrounds in Syracuse. For this clip here, we're going to go back to 2010. This is the setup day. There's Mike Schultz, uh, very prominent in iRacing circles nowadays. This was back when he was running stock cars. And this was the setup day. So this was the 12th. So this was on Friday night. AJ Kingsley's ride right there. This is uh, 2010, too. This is when the late models were really starting to become a big thing uh, here in our area. As you can see, it's still early in the show here as they're getting things ready on a Friday night. Back when IMCA Modifieds were all over the place and uh, a lot more popular than they were today. I'd like to see them come back and be a little more prominent in central New York, but with all the sportsmen and everything, it's it's kind of tough. Was this Joe Gwild? I'm not sure. I don't remember the last name. I believe he was a mod light racer turned late model racer, and I think this was about the time that um, the late models started showing up at Fulton Speedway on Saturday night. Had a cutaway car from the Monster Mile at Dover. It was nice to see the bigger tracks coming to this event. They had another car there as well. And uh, I love those uh, RVs like that where there's room in the back for like a side-by-side a -side or a four-wheeler or something like that. And you can go out and have some fun wherever you are. So it was always nice to be able to check out some of those there. Dale Plank's familiar, 77X. See, this is the Oswego booth there on the right. Craig Harreth's car. I can't tell who the one in the in the back is. Um, you see Billy Decker's number 91 is in there. I believe the other one is Brad Godshock, the number seven uh, in the back there. Here's some of the limited cars. Bill Moore's car. These were the, all the Lighthouse Lanes cars, all the Bob Hofer cars. And by the way, if you've never been up to Lighthouse Lanes, man, you guys really need to get up there. Up in Oswego, it is the nicest bowling alley around, period, bar none. So get on up there, bowl some games. Uh, Bud Bowl, I think, is happening maybe this week or something like that. Make sure to check. Of course, Asphalt Modifies, there you see the Ruggles family. That was back when uh, both um, Daryl and Alicia were running in the 600s. So they had a couple of 600s there. They always did a nice job uh, on their booth, kind of looking down the row of limited supers you can tell because the engine's not all the way over on the on the left side love the look of asphalt modifieds this is a good looking one right here and again I, we just found out one of our friends is doing one of those isma ride this is russ wood so i believe that's uh the john coloca owned car there's a little close-up of the engine boy those things are something i've been having a lot of fun learning about the world of supers and wing supers. And how, how much do we enjoy this? People my age, I mean, I'm, I was born in 1961, and man, these were the books back in the day. That's how a lot of folks, the early racers, learned how to do the stuff that they did back when um, you know a race car was something you had to make and fabricate and all that stuff. So I loved it when they used to have all the books. How many of you guys did this? Remember this? This was cool. A lot of people got frustrated while doing this. Uh, let me see, 2010, Allie would have been uh, seven at the time, so I'm sure she was doing a lot of this with me as, as that was the case there. So, And I believe this was uh, Tim Devendorf's car. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what he was doing. And this, again, was just a little stuff uh, from the setup there on the Friday night at Motorsports Expo. We'll have another bin up right after this with some, uh, some stuff from the Saturday, okay? Good to see you guys. Again, subscribe, turn on the notifications, the likes, all that cool stuff. We'll be back with more, including another video right after this one.